To make my bread pudding, we start by dissolving a pound of brown sugar in one third of a cup of water. Cook until it becomes foamy. Spray a baking pan and pour in the sugar. Dice eight cups of day-old French bread and my secret bread pudding weapon, day-old croissant. Place them on a sheet pan and bake in the oven until they turn golden brown. Toasting brings the natural sugars to the surface and makes a better bread pudding. It's a granny thing. Mix eggs, sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, milk, and a good shot of vanilla in a bowl. Get a large mixing bowl and add the toasted bread. The egg mixture, raisins, chopped pecans, and canned peaches. Dive in and mix. Pour this into the pan with the sugar. Spray a large piece of aluminum foil with pan spray. I spray the aluminum so the bread pudding doesn't stick to it as it rises. Place the bread pudding in a roasting pan and create a water bath. Bake at 350 degrees for about two hours. Allow to cool for five minutes. Cut around the edges. We want to flip this thing before the sugar starts to harden. That looks awesome because it is. To serve, place a ladle of sauce, which is made with Two cups of cream with a cup of sugar, some vanilla, and a good dose of Grand Marnier. And then we're going to whip it by hand or with an electric mixer until it forms soft peaks. We're going to cut and serve the bread pudding warm, top it with the Chantilly cream and lots of powdered sugar. Now we're cooking. This is bread pudding even Grandma will be proud of. I'm Peter Harmon, the Food Guru.